interrogated it was very clever. Oh, thank you. Oh. You've been remarkably efficient. He shot himself in the head, but it's fine. Thank Let's you, not Amanda. discuss that, Amanda. Not anything that way. <gasps> I am so confused. I am so confused. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. In the last episode, as Connor, we interrogated that deviant that we found in the attic, which did not end well. I hope you're okay today. I know sometimes things can be difficult, but I'm here for you. That is the cutest thing. Yeah, so unfortunately that didn't go too well and the Deviant ended up shooting himself. And then as Kara and Alice, I stupidly decided to make them squat inside this old abandoned house. I had the choice of either that or this really safe motel. And of course, I went for the um, not very nice and comfortable option. Actually, the house is more safe than the motel but nowhere near as comfortable. And then as Marcus, Marcus is not dead, we rebooted him and he's some kind of badass now. He um, took out his LED thing with a knife and now, he, well you can tell he's still an android from the way he acts, but he doesn't have the little LED light on the side of his head anymore. Wait, it's that side, not this side. So yeah, he's some kind of badass now and it's 10 p.m. and I'm tired so you can't judge me. So let's get into it guys. <laughs> It's my baby! I love his eyebrows. His eyebrows are much better than mine. They were manufactured though, so that's not fair. Look at this! Oh my god! Oh, and you guys will be very, very pleased to know my cough is still here. <laughs> yep, I've had it for three weeks and it gets worse at night time and it is 10 pm. In fact, it is almost 11 pm. Um, and this cough has not gone away. Oh, I'm gonna go in the boat. It is still around. Doesn't seem to be going anytime soon. So yeah, this whole video I'm probably gonna be coughing because it always gets worse at night. But can we just appreciate this, guys? Like, I don't know who the hell Amanda is, but look at this scenery. You know? Oh. There she is. I completely forgot about that feature. Could he use that straight away? Ooh. Nah, it looks safe, it's fine. Hello, woman. Who are you? Hello, Amanda. I want to live here, though. Connor, it's good to see you. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. Thank you. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. Oh, thank you. Oh. You've been remarkably efficient. He shot himself in the head, but it's fine. Thank Let's you, Let's not Amanda. discuss that, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. Will you teach us something about what happened? The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? The Deviant? Um, traumatized Deviancy Simulation. Um, I don't know. Traumatized? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. <laughs> An android having PTSD. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This. Sorry, I'm just trying to turn Anderson the vibrate off on my phone. Assigned to the deviancy case. Mm -hmm. What do you make of him? Ooh, of the lieutenant. Unpleasant, dysfunctional, intriguing, unsure. Um, I'd say he's pretty intriguing. I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. Just making sure my phone don't vibrate. character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Friendly, adapt, indifferent, don't know. Adapt? I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. Oh, that was a pretty good answer in my eyes. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's Ooh. happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. How did we even get to this place? Hurry, Connor. There's little time. It always has to be something dramatic. 
Ooh. <laughs> I love this game so much. It feels like a TV show. Right. I still haven't fixed this thing with my controller where it stopped working, so... Oh, line open. Can I help you? Seems to be fine I'm for here now. I'm to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Ooh. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, <laughs> but you blinking. can wait at his desk. He was like... So cute. You might be in shock. Just, just take it easy. The loving hand on the shoulder. Why? What happened? Sure. A Russian carrier and an American patrol boat reported to have Hey. Awesome. Detroit City Police Department, Central Station, Michigan. <coughs> right. So they said he's not here yet. Oh, look. Oh, find Lieutenant Anderson's desk. Well, let's start here. Oh no. Detective V. Oh my god, that reminds me of the film Liar Liar. If you guys haven't seen Liar Liar, please watch it and then get back to me. Oh, that's obviously not Lieutenant Anderson. Um, blank. It's my space. Lieutenant Anderson. Here we go. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Huh. Depends if he's been drinking or not, basically. Sit down. Sit your ass down, gonna. Oh, he's such. I <laughs> can't even speak. He's such an angel. <coughs> this is getting ridiculous. This is like four videos in a row that I've been coughing. It's so unprofessional. Oh, my controller's playing up already. And we are... I don't know, because my phone's not telling me. How far are we in? Eight minutes. Eight minutes, and it started messing up. Didn't mean to do that, but okay. Oh. Knights of the Black Death. <laughs> Dark Heavy Metal. Released in 2021. So aren't we in 2036 right now? So that was quite a while ago. Call Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. I'll leave a message if that's what turns you on, but I'll expect <laughs> you to call back. Beep. Whatever. I used to have a really annoying message like that. I used to say to people, hello, and then leave a big gap and be like, hello, and then they'd be like, hello, and then after ages I'd go, sorry, I can't hear you, and then I'd be like, sorry, can't come to the phone right now, I've made some changes in my life, and if I don't get back to you, you're one of them. It was such an annoying, cliche one. I think I got it from Family Guy. All of my family disowned me after that, so. Anti-Android slogans. Use your brain, not your Android. Android free space. We don't bleed the same colour. Well, that doesn't look very good. Detroit basketball cap. Research Anderson. Oh my god. Detroit please dismantle a network of red ice. What is it with red ice in this game? Is it this magic candy or something? Like, I know it's drugs, but more than 50 arrests throughout the country. Detroit's finest has dealt a massive blow to the city's growing red ice epidemic with a number of high profile dealers and suppliers now behind bars and narcotics seized at the street value of $500,000. Detective Hank Anderson, a young but hugely talented detective, is said to have been instrumental in the operation, which took months of planning. The DA described the work of Detective Anderson and his colleagues as a middle investi model investigative police work. Detective Anderson promoted to the rank of lieutenant. 
becoming the youngest lieutenant on the Detroit Police Force. Lieutenant Hank Anderson was among the most decorated de detectives in DPD's recent history, securing a number of high-profile arrests and serving as an integral member of the force. Captain Fowler said the promotion was long overdue, describing Anderson as among the most talented police I've ever worked with. The new, the new lieutenant is expected to rise quickly through the ranks of the department and is already being tipped as a future commissioner. Last one, guys. This one isn't as long. A new record seizure of red ice in Detroit. Nearly a ton of red ice discovered in the hold of a boat after a long investigation conducted by Lieutenant Anderson of the Detroit Police Force. Wow. So he's really, um, was really celebrated then. Oh, shit. Red Ice Task Force. There's a whole task force for it. Responsible for the Red Ice Network dismantle of 2028. Is that the lieutenant at the front? I can't tell. It looks nothing like him anymore. Matches. Origin Jimmy's bar. Nice. Selling matches at a bar. Always a good idea. People drinking and matches. Hairs. Canine hairs. Saint Bernard dog. Oh, she, he's got a pooper. Oh, donuts. Yes, you can't be on the police force without donuts. 452 calories. My god. Um, ooh. Coffee. Cold coffee. Traces of caffeine. That's great. His drinking habits plus caffeine. A staple. Brilliant. Japanese maple Asian shi shishikashira shohin. Excuse me. Bless you. <laughs> Um, I think that's it, yeah. Is that tissue or paper? That's it, though. He was a decorated officer. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, jeez. Wish I could say the same hey, for you. In it's my office. Against... Do we follow? Enter and listen in. Explore the office. I'm gonna listen in. Because why not? I get on Hank's nerves and let's just annoy him some more. Nah, it could be helpful to the investigation. I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you left me holding the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. You are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police you lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that, so I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation <laughs> is over. <laughs> Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, That's so mean. I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Oh, I thought he was going to hand in his badge. Anderson positive file. I'm positive? very pleased to have joined the team. I can assure you I'll do my very Close best. Close the door on your way out. <laughs> oh. Have a nice day, Captain. Oh, my little angel. He's just too soft for anyone. He's too soft. I don't want to be sassy Connor though. And I know you get choices to be sassy Connor, but I don't know what's the kind of best Connor to be. Understanding, oh, 
What was the top one? What did I need to do to get that? Understanding pragmatic. What's that word again? <laughs> Constructive. It's an honor to be working with you, Lieutenant. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Oh, don't remind him. Um, desk? Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No oh. one's using that one. We get our own desk. Analyze deviancy files. Sorted. Dog, basketball, music, anti androids. Dog? You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. <laughs> I call him Sumo. Oh. <laughs> Um, Do you music? listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. <laughs> it's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. Um, I don't know if I want to ask him any more personal stuff. I was Hours? wondering. Do you always arrive at the office at this time? Oh God, no. I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? I didn't think that was what he meant. If you have Start any working. Deviance, I'd like to take a look. I don't want to annoy him, you know. Terminals on We got him desk. to go up a bit. Out. We got him to like us a tiny bit more. I don't want to risk it by saying something that he's not gonna like. The plaintiff reports that he left his android at home as usual when he went to work. When he returned, the android was nowhere to be found. No trace of a break-in in the apartment. The android may have left the home without being ordered to. So it's a disappearance. An attack. Huh? Didn't he work at the paint shop at the beginning of the game? Or does he just look similar? The plaintiff claim <laughs> God, sorry. claims to have been attacked. By an AV500 AV model android working as a waiter in the Fast Coney Dogs restaurant chain, situated at Chamberlain Avenue. No, not the same guy then. The plaintiff claims the android lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle the man before leaving the scene. The android remains at large. Can attack. The plaintiff uh, claims to have been attacked by her android, an AP700. The android also trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. The disappearance. Um, the plaintiff, the manager of the Eden Club, reported the ex unexplained disappearance of a sex android model. The android disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never returned to the club. Destroyed. Attempted murder. Leo Manfred was found unconscious in the home of his father, Carl Manfred. Oh, that's um, Marcus. He wasn't destroyed though. And it was an attempted murder, right? We just pushed him. We pushed him a little bit. If I'd have known that was going to happen, I wouldn't have done it. Wait, attempted murder? Leo is not dead then. What? But he was so dead. I was thought Carl was underreacting a little bit. Um, the latter's witness statement attests to an altercation between his son and the house android. The android is thought to be a prototype and was destroyed at the scene by attending officers, except he wasn't. Oh my god, Kara. Case reference aggression, victim Todd Williams. The plaintiff claims he was violently attacked by his domestic android, an AX400 model. The android had just returned from being repaired the previous day and had shown signs of aggression in the past. Fuck off, Todd. Fucking get lost, Todd. 
<laughs> what the fuck? Fucking files. abusing us and his daughter First and then blames it on us. Months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. Yeah, we that could be a good starting point for our investigation. Direct, aggressive, you direct. Let your personal situation hampered the investigation, Lieutenant. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. So why don't you just run your program and shut the fuck up? Determined, resign the mission. Oh, Connor doesn't say mission, very good Lieutenant. stuff. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant, what am I supposed uh, to say to him? To All of the other me. options were mean, so I, I choose the nicest on one, and that still pisses him off because Connor says stupid night. stuff. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. What the hell am I supposed to say? Fucking oh, dickhead. Hank got a lead. So I'm guessing that's uh, the good ending. 98% got that. Okay. That's not that good then. Everybody else got it as well. Hank, Hank storms out 99%. Yeah, because it's hard not to make him angry. <coughs> Hank arrives 99%. When did he not arrive then? Who didn't bother to learn about Hank? Are you joking? What else can you do in the Zen Garden? Well, shit. Oh no, I forgot about this. Oh, she's got a nice bracelet. Oh, at least that dude didn't come and kill us in the night. I forgot his name. Revive fire. Okay. Keep her warm. Find some more wood. Check she's still breathing first. <laughs> Sorted. Right, find find more wood. Do it the cheat way. Oh god, I'm not reading all this out again. Um well first Android Zoo. Cyberlife is set to open the first android zoo in Los Angeles, which will exhibit all exotic species to have become extinct in the last 30 years. Loot turtles, polar bears, mountain gorillas, African elephants, and several species of tiger will be among the most high-profile high profile attractions. Okay, blah blah blah. Next article. Canada. Canada still an android-free zone. Despite the United States... Despite the United States voting in its Android Act as early as 2028, the Canadian Parliament has yet again pushed back its decision on whether to permit Androids in the country. As a result, Androids are still not sold in Canada and have no official status in the country. With Androids continuing to fuel unprecedented growth in the US economy, yet contributing to record levels of unemployment, the arguments for and against putting them on sale in Canada rages on. But for the time being, Canada remains an Android-free zone. Okay, let's get to wood. Oh, I haven't even recorded this one video and I'm starting to feel ill already. 
it's normally when I do my second video that I start to not feel very well. Maybe it's because of it's how late it is. What's my objective? Just wait till she wakes up. Okay, then. Oh, Ralph, that was the dude's name. <laughs> Took me that long to realise. Is he in here? No. Oh my god. I'm alive, RA9, the obsessive writing. Hey, this is all the same stuff that was in that Carlos, Carlos's house that that other android went down for. Does that mean he wasn't the murderer? Oh, uh, obviously no one's gonna comment on it because... Oh, what's that? Because Kara isn't gonna know anything about any of this. Because she wasn't involved in the Carlos Ortiz stuff, so now it's just up to me to try and figure out what it all means. Because I can't get any help from Kara. I'm not sure I want to go upstairs. Change appearance, find new clothes. Is there really going to be any? Is it just me? I was going to say, is it just me or does it sound like a fire's going? And then I remembered I've just literally now done one for Alice. Oh. Can go in here. Ooh, take. But what's nice though is I bought this thing called Elgato Chatlink, which means I used to have like a couple seconds delay between what was going on on the screen and um, what was coming through my headphones. Ooh, looking nice. But then now I don't have a delay anymore now that I've bought this thing. Oh, it looked a bit out. It looked a bit warm outside for that. Cut her hair. I don't want to cut her hair. Oh, she looks so cute. It's a bit warm, Kara. What's in here? Nothing, okay. There's someone behind the curtain. We can't look anyway, right. Oh, I don't want to cut her hair. Of course I have to do it. If I fuck this up, can she fuck up her haircut? No. She doesn't even know what she's doing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now that looks like the car from the trailer. Accessing AX400 options. Select new hair colour. Ooh, oh, there's no red haired. Blonde, white, black. No brown and no red haired. Really? Really, Quantic Dream? I wanted to be a red haired. Like, blonde. Oh, I can change it. Oh, there's brown, but there's no red haired. That sucks. Hairist. That's nice. Brown. Because oh, brown, it was already brown. The um, black. So you can keep her hair the way it was. Oh, that's nice. Loving that. White. Ooh. I love that. I don't know. Because you can see all the black underneath. Maybe black. Now nah, I like the white. <coughs> she looks really edgy. <laughs> yeah, liking it. Oh, oh. We're gonna do a Marcus, guys. You guys, we're doing it. Awesome. 
Now nobody will know we're an android. That smug little smile, like yeah. <laughs> Not for us, I hope. Alright. That's all for Oh my god, it's Connor and Hank. Oh yeah, because we had the lead, didn't we? We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody that was saw fast. Anything. Okay, well let me know if you turn anything up. What are you gonna do with that? <laughs> I have no idea. With that. I swear it looked warmer outside and now it's suddenly raining. So He's always here. fucking tense. I don't know what I'm supposed to do to stop him from being tense. Seen at a convenience store. It stole wire cutters. There must be a reason. <laughs> wire cutters? What the fuck are you talking about? I checked the CCTV How do you know? while you were questioning the clerk. The android was caught on camera stealing them. It had wire cutters, and it was looking for a place to hide. So, what's your conclusion, Sherlock? <laughs> oh, this is when I hate Connor for being so smart. Maybe it didn't go far. Oh, of course, he's figured it out. Oh, Cara, 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 you need to go, like, right now. She better be awake. <laughs> Ralph found this to feed the little girl. <laughs> it's good for her. A present. Oh my god. To make up for past misunderstandings. <laughs> Ralph will cook. We will do just like humans do. Humans like burnt meat. <laughs> Come. It's Come true. Sit down. <laughs> I had a carvery earlier today. <laughs> um. That's very no. kind of you, Ralph. But we have to go. Go? <laughs> no, you, you will go once the little girl is eaten. Uh, we will eat together, just like a family. You know, the father, the mother, and the little girl. <laughs> is he working with the cops? All right. <laughs> That's better. We don't have time. Ralph went to a lot of trouble to find something for the little girl to eat. Wouldn't be polite for her to refuse, would it? <laughs> great. Oh God. Be great. <laughs> succulent, you'll see. Succulent. Succulent. <laughs> Father, another little girl. I'm sorry, I can't stand that Please word. I, I can't not laugh at that what word. Did she say? I know you don't. <laughs> She said um, she life. can't wait to eat it. She's very hungry. <laughs> the little human is not going to regret it. What did you say? Ralph found the best, the biggest one he could find. <laughs> this is going to be succulent. Succulent. <laughs> <laughs> I love that word so Go much. Ahead. Eat. Oh. Uh, uh. It's Ellie. Oh my god. She can't catch a break. First her dad. I just want Alice to have a break. We're going to stand up now. Bluff. And we're going to leave. Why couldn't I tell the Bluff. truth? No. No, you're not going to leave. How could I unlock Until anything? Ralph, so. What was the other option? You said family. You What's the locked like option? Ralph? Father? Mother? The little girl, remember? The father would never threaten his little girl with a knife to make her eat. Ralph went to a lot of trouble. That's why. He just wanted the little girl to eat. But Ralph is not bad. No. Not bad. Oh. You're fucking nice creepy, call. though. Anybody home? Shit. 
I should have gone straight away. Oh my god, we have to be Connor and catch them. If I walk around a little bit, does that give them time to hide? Yeah, you can come out. Let's enjoy the scenery. Walk around. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, a parked car. With a parking. What? What's that? Oh, I don't know. And some nice rocks. Lovely brick wall. Is that ivy growing out the side? Weeds. Now we can go in. <laughs> No, I don't know. Let's have they gone? Have they gone? I couldn't see. I couldn't tell from that. Okay. Scan Android. I'm um, looking for an AX400. Have you seen it? Ralph seen nobody. Are there any other androids Deviants. here? Other androids? No. Could you have Ralph a bigger gap? Don't be afraid. Reassure. What? What's Connor doing? Oh, he's got the I'm not coin. Hurt you. Uh, there's a gardener reported missing. I wonder why he was attacked. Burn mark. Irreversible skin damage cause extreme heat. Okay. Yeah, I thought that would be the last thing. Signs of software instability. Probability of self-destruction moderate. Shit. Fine source of android stress. I don't want to. Oh, it's going up. I should walk this way. Uh, I don't want to ask him about blue blood. I don't know. What do I do? Um, There's blue blood on the mate. fence. I know another android was here. Ralph scratched himself coming through. That's Ralph's blood. Can we ask him something else? Okay. Perfect tool to cut a wire fence. Maybe it was Ralph. I don't want to go in that room in case that's where they are. Table set for three people. Food? Androids don't eat. I wouldn't exactly call that food. I don't want to go in there in case that's where they are. I don't want to go upstairs either. Uh, Alright, I'm going to go in here. His stress is going down. I mean, he hasn't really got anything to hide then, this whole RA9 stuff. Was it not him? Don't get too high. Can I not ask anything else? We've already investigated the table, the fire. Androids don't need heat. How do I go and see the lieutenant? Leave? How do I go and see the lieutenant? Find source of stress. I don't want to. I'm scared I'm gonna find them. Ah, uh, la 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 la. Let's go up. Is anyone 
upstairs. My no. stress level went right up. Nobody. Android is telling the truth. I don't want him to self-distract. Distract? Oh, I can't speak today. What now then? The machine? Yeah, what did that have to do with anything? I've looked at the fire, I've looked at the plates, I've looked over there. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, I know. And the table. Did I miss something? What am I supposed to do? Okay, I can't go upstairs. Connor, <sighs> the fuck are you doing? Did you find something? No. No, it's not here. Yeah, just like I said in the first place. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, he's like so defeated. It's like, oh, I was so sure. Oh, that's why he got stressed when we went near the stairs. Oh, how Connor did not see that. I'm sorry, you'd see the little girl. Thanks. Thank you, Ralph. You're not as Take bad as I girl. thought. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course. Mm hmm. I agree. <coughs> very, very bad things would happen. Don't you love how when Todd spoke to the police, he didn't mention anything about his daughter being missing, he just mentioned being attacked. Oh, so it is him drawing on the walls. Jesus, so much to do. Kara and Alice undiscovered in squat. So could they have been discovered? If I'd have checked table, there was something I didn't check. 7% got that ending. Right, I feel very happy with myself right now. Hank commands Connor to leave 7%. Yes, because it took so long. <laughs> I didn't want to risk finding them. Try to convince. Oh, try to convince Ralph. I was thinking, when did Connor try to convince Ralph? That's when Kara tried to convince him. Several sources report <laughs> that Cyberlife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, I really want to stop the episode now, but we haven't played as Marcus yet. I hope this one doesn't take too long. For the graffiti. It's right in front of us. They missed her. Want you spare some change? Sorry, no. Oh, yeah? uh, I'm an android. There it is. Alright, so we're looking for these little symbols. <coughs> oh, for God's sake. Find this graffiti, yeah! Let's just lead us on a wild yeah. goose chase. Sorted. God's sake. I can tell this is gonna be like a lot of these. 
and I really wanted to end the episode here. Oh, is that an Android? Android only. Gots to blend in. That's where people go up. Oh, it's weird having the one that goes up on the left. Wait, do they do, they do that where I live? I can't remember what side. Oh, the, there's the graffiti. <gasps> oh, sorry. Excuse me. Say something, otherwise people will know that you are an android. I'm not going to talk to any androids because I don't want to make it obvious. I just want to find the graffiti and leave. Oh, there's two. Ah. Thank God. My pencil. Mucky. What was that? No, wrong one. Yellow, blue, red, pink. Oh, good. We can jog. This looks like GTA now. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm not supposed to cross. Sorry. Ah, blue, yellow, red, pink. Anti, antic games. I thought I said anti games. So I was like, who is anti games? Right. Okay. And there's a second one. Here. What's that got to do with Jericho? Where, where did he get all this from? So, robot behind barbed wire. It's not that barbed wire. Oh. Where's... Oh, no, this barbed wire. Wait, cars. Don't go. I see barbed wire around the corner. There he is. Yeah. Oh, three. There's that one? I don't know. Where's another one? Oh, crouch. We gotta go through you. Okay. So there's another one. And there's the last one. And we can move it. Is that the last graffiti? This one? Oh shit. Done? I'm not looking for much. No. Right. Ugh, jog again. I'm walking so slow. This feels like a completely different game now that they jog. I don't know why. There we go. Oh, there's three again. There's one. Right. I thought that look kind of stood out a little bit. I think because of the way it is. Find, find a way to reach the roof. Sure. Oh, nice. Can we go round? Oh. Sorry, Ted. Climb up. Oh, yes. Buckle. There's the last one. 
Oh shit. I'm getting tired of this. Are we gonna make that jump? Wouldn't be surprised. Pre-construct. Use the... Oh! Ooh! Would be too unstable. Oh, I don't like the noise it made. That's creepy. Find another route. That's the better one. I mean, it's fucking dangerous. But we're Marcus, we can do anything. Androids are so fucking perfect, in the words of Leo. Right, um, okay, I thought it would be behind me. Are we going in? No. Oh, this one? No. No. Right, so we need to drop. Shit. Lucky that was there. Sparkle City, there it is. Right. <laughs> There's one. Um. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say, that's the one I saw. Yeah, in between Sparkle and City. And then the third. Is right there. I thought it was going to be another super hidden one. I don't even see a graffiti mark in that one. Oh, fucking hell, I don't like this. Mm-hmm. Ooh! No. Too unstable. So we can't do that. Let's go this way. There you go. And then up here. Oh. Too high. Really? I'd say he'd be able to make that. Ah. Oh, right. <laughs> There's a big ladder there. What if he wasn't actually able to do any of this? At least we're not having to do any of it, right? Finally doing something by himself. It's making me dizzy. He's like, look, look at my handy work. Fuck it, stop. I can't even see one on there. Is it that big grey one above the door? this. Fuck. Don't like the music. Here it is. Oh, my controller stopped working again. For a second. Oh! I get it. You sneaky little bastards. That should have took me ages. You're lucky I ran this way. Right. Oh god, no. Always having to do everything. Pressing R uh, R2 on accident. Yeah, so I'm gonna have a new game on the channel tomorrow. Um, vampire. I've actually heard mixed things about that. Like, oh my god, look at this, guys. Like, oh, Jericho. Everyone said it was going to be amazing, and then I saw one review that said it's really pants, and everyone commented on the video saying thank you for putting me off buying this. Uh, you've saved me a lot of money. This looks crap. But it was only beta gameplay. So... Fuck 
<laughs> Fuck this game. <laughs> it was only beta gameplay, so I'm hoping oh, the real thing will be a lot better. It looks a lot interesting to me. A lot interesting? Quite interesting to me. It looks, it's like another one, I think, where it's got multiple endings. I think it's from the makers of Life is Strange, which is why I was so interested by it. Um, and it's one of those ones again where, depending on what you do, depends on who lives and who dies. Can't even do anything. Waste of time. Makes for a pretty good screenshot though. Oh, hello. Sorry, Marcus. I was going to say such a pretty boat, but no. It is not. Do it yourself, Marcus. I want a drink. Thank you. Ooh, do not trust that. At least the other one wasn't such a big fall. Shit. I feel like I'm walking too close to the edge. No. I don't want to jump. No. But what's underneath? Oh, okay. It's water. I was gonna say, I thought it was pure, like, concrete. Massive shiver down my spine, then. Oh, God. I feel like I'm playing Resident Evil or something. Do you not like? find a way to see what about this thing oh I thought it was going to be like an emergency exit thing of course why wouldn't that just be lying around you know okay when did this become Resident Evil 7 speaking of which I own the game but I've never actually played it Do not appreciate. I'm too scared to play it. What? <sighs> Cyberlife's fortune teller computer. Develops most powerful quantum calculator. So life has unveiled a new quantum supercomputer capable of exaflops, one billion billion operations per second, the equivalent of several human minds in a single machine. The computer can help us to anticipate and prepare for such calamities. What calamities? Now I have to go back up. The computer will be used to calculate the probability of mass extinction events such as aggressive alien invasions or global climate disasters like meteors or super viruses. Android ast astronauts to explore IO. NASA sends android crew into space. At least if they die, they are androids. Not that they're any less important, but NASA announced the launch of a five android crew to explore to I oh one of Jupiter's satellites. They're not the first androids in space. Oh, this is the first all machine crew, proving that androids are sufficiently reliable to be entrusted with an entire mission. Right. Okay, proud of you guys. Oh, yeah. Not anything that way. <laughs> no, no, no. 
my flashlight's starting to dim. Don't tell me it's like limited. What the fuck was that? This is not a horror. Tell me this is not a horror. I am beyond lost. Beyond lost. Oh, fuck this shit. Well, at least I'm nice and warm because my blood's just. Because my body temperature's just gone right through the roof. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh my god, I thought I'd killed him. I was like, was I not supposed to go in this room? Oh, fucking great. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, not a menace at all. Oh my god, it's Daniel. Welcome to Jericho. Is that Daniel? He was destroyed. Is there more than one model that looks similar? Fucking... Fucking Jericho. Fuckers. Who was it that ran? Fucking screaming. I think there was any choices to make. Ah, so I could have gone somewhere else. If that was find the right exit, could I have gone the wrong way and killed Marcus? Cross the gap or what? It's not showing me the stats. Oh. Okay. So. 86% walk the bridge. What did everyone else do? 16% saw Andrew bot. Android body. Yeah, I almost missed that. Read fortune teller. Read android astronauts. That was it. Not a lot of that was optional, to be honest. Already back? That was a short break, but I'm glad to see you again. Oh, yeah, I know. I was only just here, but then I closed the game and forgot I need this for the end screen. <laughs> I'm happy to see you too. Right, guys, that's going to have to be the end of that episode there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really intrigued to know what this whole Jericho thing is because we haven't really had anything like any valuable information as to actually what that is. Um, just that some real creep android in a junkyard told us to go here. So we're, I'm pretty sure you can't trust that guy. I don't know, he was a bit, well, he was disfigured and dismembered because he was in the junkyard. But I don't know, it just doesn't seem trustworthy. I don't know, maybe they're the bad guys, but who knows? I'm so glad Kara and Alice got away. I really thought like that was going to be the end of them. I was desperately trying to search around the house, trying to not find them. And then the lieutenant walked in because I wasted so much bloody time because I just didn't want to find them. And then I just can't believe... I don't know if I mentioned this, but mm -hmm. I like your interior decorating. It oh really my reflects God. your personality. I mean, I like it. Oh, thanks, you should see my bedroom. This does not reflect me at all. I have a giant green screen behind me, that's probably all you can see. But um, I just don't I don't understand the lieutenant. I really don't. I, I don't know what options to pick with him because some of the options seem quite threatening. They actually say threaten. And I'm like, well, I don't want to do that because that will get him angry. So then I say something nice, which just makes him angry. So maybe he's one of those people that I'm just going to have to be a jackass. And then he'll be like, you know what? I actually respect you for being a jackass. So instead of being nice, Connor, maybe I just need to be badass, Connor. Stand up for myself a little bit and rough him up around the edges, you know? But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Check the links in the description to find out ways of helping the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.